Well, welcome back to Mechanicus. Last week we played Inscription. The week before that we were working on some of Kepra's stuff. And this week we're going to be heading back into Vex's uh, Flesh Harvest. Yeah, we're going back into this god-awful tomb. Uh, we have some cool stuff that we're going to be unlocking here that I want, especially this Mechadendrite. Curing is not like a big thing, but... Um, It'll be useful for some battles. And our cohort is pretty well set up. We've got some new guys. We unlocked the infiltrator and we've got the rust stalker. We've got, uh, we're missing two in our two big guys, but we have unlocked these two on the sides here are from the heretic stuff. So we've actually, you know, got those. Um, maybe I'll bring in one of the infiltrators so we can check them out next time or this time. But actually we're gonna be working on Videx's stuff. Uh, I think, there's a couple other things that are going to be coming up. We're going to be working on Kepra to gain an additional tech priest next time. Yeah, we got some other stuff, though, that's coming up that we really want to do. Oh, not this. Not the bosses. We're not doing the bosses yet. Uh, and we're not doing uh, this. <laughs> we're not doing the heretic stuff um, because it's annoying as heck. But we um, also have uh, Tirasus down here. So, you know, make sure you look at all your options, especially if you're looking for something in particular. But Kepra's next battle here is going to be super useful to get that additional tech priest. We really want that. But first, a flayed one pack has been reported wearing the skins of a recently slain Skatari unit in the tomb of Ubjau. Lector Dogmatis Videx has requested the pack be hunted down to prevent the damage it will do to Skatari morale. I don't know what you want from me. All right, let's bring the infiltrator. I'm gonna bring a vanguard and um, I haven't been using my servitors. So we're gonna go ahead and just bring the vanguards with us and go with that. Wearing reports from the tomb of Maj uh, Ubjau Majos, one of Subdomina Kepra's Skatari teams was lost while exploring its inner reaches. Kepra has kept me aware of this Videx. They will be mourned, but such losses are inevitable. We magi must be above concern for mere lives. What concerns me is the subsequent to the squad's loss, sightings were reported of a pack of flayed ones wearing lost squad skin. I see. Disturbing indeed. Then you will understand why it, what is so pertur perturbatory about this matter. This pack of flayed ones must be hunted down and destroyed before rumors of the Skatari's fate spread. Seter Seterine versus 81.4. The loose tongues of our soldiers are as guns in the hands of our enemies. Uh, if you haven't noticed, Videx has just like half of his brain is just scripture. I have plotted the Skatari's unit, Skatari unit's last known location and the reports of the Flayed One sightings. We must act with haste lest the Xenos in question move beyond our reach. We may not always see eye to eye, Lector Dogmatis, but in this I agree with you. These are my men being worn as decorations by the Xenos filth. Destroying them is my duty. Let your emotions lend you strength, Subdomina, not cloud your reason. How far have rumors of this flayed one's pack spread? I am in control of them so far. Word is spreading, but slowly. Then let us remove their source entirely. Okay, so we've got two battles here. We've got this one over here and this one over here. So let's start by hitting up these glyphs and see if there's any that we want to pick up. Uh, we've got the one on the... My notes just vanished. Uh, let's see here. The one on the right, I believe, is Blackstone. And the one on the left is negative health. So we're going to avoid that and just gain the Blackstone. All right, and let's head into our first of two battles. All right, so let's see. We've got <laughs> we got Mr. Bouncy guys, who I hate. Uh, the Praetorians here and here have this nasty habit of getting. Um, in the way they move they have jetpacks which is really annoying and there is one um panel so we're gonna be taking those guys out now we have we don't have any cognition points at right now so we're gonna wait is that two panels wait two panels or one panel wait a minute i can't see at the moment can you not be on top of me for like two seconds 
Ow! Jerk. Hang on. Um, let's get the cognition. Oh, we actually have two panels. For some reason, I only thought we had one, but no, we actually have two. So that's actually gonna make this um, amazingly good. Let's gather all of the cognition points, because yeah, we're gonna need them. And uh, let's see. Can't scan these guys, unfortunately, not yet. And we have two problems. We got this guy and we got this guy. I think I'm gonna actually have uh, this guy be my first target. Okay, um, that's not great. Uh, let's actually move here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use a physical attack. We don't know how much damage is done quite yet and then we're just gonna poke him because that will push him back. Now that guy, mm, is he gonna be able to hit us? Probably. We're gonna move a little bit away. Actually, if I did that, mm, I can't quite get him into the, yeah, okay, that should be fine though, I think, because he does have three protection. Not bad. We're definitely going to need to heal up though. <laughs> Take that damage. All right. Uh, let's see here. Let's start by just doing this. Now that guy isn't going to take any damage or much damage from this, uh, but the problem is I'm probably going to hit Jeremiah, so we're going to make sure not to do that. And we're going to go after the scanner first, or the panel first, because it'll do some damage to that guy. Uh, let's see, let's move... Free healing, thank you very much. Please get rid of this guy. It is imperative that we do as much damage to these guys. They're so annoying. Also off of me. Okay. Now, the next Praetorian is going to come over here. I'm going to move my guys apart a little bit in hopes that we won't uh, get locked in combat with them. Yeah, of course you would go after that one. Why wouldn't you? We just healed him. He is kind of in a bad spot because I can't push him away right now. Uh, let's, uh, I can't scan both of them. Let's scan this one. We'll start there. Okay. So good to use physical attacks against them. Let's go ahead and heal for free. Now, uh, one of the problems, of course, is he doesn't have any melee damage, so let's go ahead and just load this guy up. Physic or add extra damage will be useful here. And then we're gonna come around the corner. I think we can hit. Yes, we can. Okay, let's hide from that. I think. Okay, that guy has one hit point left. I don't think I can actually scan it though, so that doesn't really work. Um, Alright, well, let's just stab him into a corner, because one damage is one damage, and might make or break this this specific engagement. We're going to be getting rid of that detection, so I'm not worried. We do want to take that out too, though, so we do need to be cautious. Ugh, where are you going? Of course you can go. Sure. Okay, actually that was good because he died from, he had one hit point left. Okay, so that problem is solved. Um, I do want to take care of that at some point in time. I think the best thing I can actually do, a little risky, is going to be to go after that. So first things first though, um, let's see if we can't... Let's take that out. That's not going to be useful, is it? Actually, let's move 
here. I do have something useful that you can do. Target this guy. Okay, so he's almost down. We do need to be careful because we want to take those out first. Let's just wait a second here. That guy is probably gonna hit. Yep. We're gonna have to heal up. What a pain. Oh, damage absorbed. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, first thing, let me grab a cognition point because we actually need that in order to take care of this problem. Um, okay, the problem is he's gonna get a opportunity attack against us. I'm just gonna have to take it. Aren't I? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna just take the opportunity attack that he's gonna he's gonna hit me at hurt, but we'll we'll make do. Cause what I'm gonna do, move away, please. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get the nine cognition points here. Which will assist uh, actually quite a bit uh, here in a second. Mm, that's not going to help any. Okay, let me head around. Uh, let me go here. Bypass all of that nonsense. Um, can I hit? Okay, let's hit this first. Really do need to take those out and get that awakening lowered. Um, Blackstone would be really useful here too, but we will make do with what we've got. Okay. Take care of that guy. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves. Please stop that nonsense. And then uh, let's go ahead and move forward. We'll grab, the, we'll grab the cognition, but most importantly, I'm gonna stab him, take out the corpse. Okay. Now I think we've done a lot of damage to both of these guys, so we do need to be somewhat cautious. Hmm. Probably be a good idea to heal. We have the cognition points for right now, so we're good. Okay, and then let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my cognition points to move, and I'm gonna come up here to take this one out. Actually, can I move up to it? That'd be excruciatingly useful. I think I actually can. I don't think I have to spend any more cognition either. Hey, Blackstone! Yay! Okay, let's move away so I can actually take this out. I would like to get rid of that awakening. I want to make sure I do that before um, we finish off both guys. That was good. How many hit points does this thing have left? Two. Okay, I can't quite do that. Let's go ahead and wait. Um, yeah, that should work really, really good. I uh, don't want to spend any cognition quite right now. Let's go ahead and just delay turn. He's going to hit one of us. Fine. Can you not hit us for so much damage? It's... Can I please? Okay, let me go ahead and delay that turn. I want to finish this off. Okay, so that's good. And we're, we're back down to a acceptable level. Um, let's go ahead and just have him wait. Okay, yeah, not you. Let's heal up, make sure that we're fully repaired before we run in to the next battle. And we are done here. Beautiful. So that actually wasn't too bad. The cohort has picked up the trail of the offending flayed one pack. It tra travels through an area of the tomb choked with debris where a portion of the tomb has collapsed, making direct pursuit hazardous. If we defy, we will gain awakening and lose hit points. If we create a diversion, we will gain cognition points, but lose our initiative. And if we demolish, we will gain both cognition points and blackstone. 
Demolition charges blast a path without significant delay, but the noise must have alerted the foe to the cohort's presence. However, little time was lost and several samples can be gathered from destroyed Necron sarcophagi. Beautiful. All right, well, let's head into the middle here. Move, move, please. <laughs> Be warned, Majos. Macarian commentary, 73.5. Seek profane knowledge and find profane fates. An inscribed ste stele steel is just visible beneath the filth and rot encrusting the tomb. It might give some insight into the inhabitants. All right, so if we acquire it, we will gain cognition and gain initiative. If we abandon, we will lose cognition points. And if we analyze, we will gain cognition points. So let's go ahead and acquire it. Removing the steel is a loud and time consuming operation that compromises the cohort's position, but it provides, um, but it proves constructed from rare and valuable alloys. Preliminary picked grabs of the steel are translated by the Castus Metallicans Cognators. Kneel to Ujjal, Lord Protector to the Court of Sargion, kneel to his rot, kneel to his transformation, all hail the disease. It seems not only the structure of the tomb of Ujjal has suffered from this infection, Lord Ujjal himself has undergone a transformation too. We'll get to that dude eventually. Okay. What do we got? Survive five rounds. So basically in this particular round or this particular battle, uh, we just need to survive. And we're gonna do just that, hopefully. Now it says five rounds. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll be hitting two awakening, whether you like it or not. Though I'm looking up here and there's whole sorts of these scanners. So maybe we should focus on those. Okay, let's go ahead and delay um, our guys here. Actually, let's delay our guys' turns. I know we have the initiative, which is kind of like, why would you hold on that? But trust me on this. Now, all of these guys are going to move forward. And there's a way we're gonna deal with them. Also, these guys aren't very strong and we have our arc weapons, which means we're gonna be able to hit groups of them, which is just hilarious to me. But there's two things that are happening. One's going this way, one's going that way. And, um, oh right, I probably should have at least moved them, that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and start moving one of our guys to the right here. And uh, we could probably gain all of the cognition points. That would be really useful, wouldn't it? I don't think we can like hit anybody because they're kind of hidden. Uh, so let's just go ahead and in turn. Um, I'm not too worried about our troops at the moment, so let's just go ahead and let them sit there. Let's move one of our troops to the left. Now, normally I'd be like, don't split people up because that generally ends in pain and suffering. But in this case, I actually do want to split them up. Okay, let's just go ahead and um, actually we can actually scan. Let's scan, these guys are all on board little line. Uh, most of these guys, actually I don't think any of these guys should have any sort of protection from anything that we're using. Oh, that's not good. Two guys behind us. I guess I should have warned you about that, but I didn't. So off we go. These guys are going to take damage. We need to make sure we come back and get them. Now he's gonna be in an oppor get an opportunity attack from both of these guys. That's gonna suck. Hopefully he'll be okay. Oh, he's not gonna be okay. Please roll low. He did not roll low. Okay, we lost our first troop um, because I forgot that they were actually spawned right there in this battle. Casualties happen. That sucks. Uh, let's go ahead and focus on this guy for, or yeah, on this guy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually start firing at these guys. Now you'll note that everybody is targeting him and that's actually what we want. You might be like, why would you want that? That seems like a really bad idea. 
but we can actually use this as like a distraction. And I'm gonna move him away a little bit. Now everyone's gonna come at him, even the guys on the other side, and they should ignore everybody else because that's just how they roll. So if I move here, uh, did both of these guys go? Let's see. No, okay. Let's go ahead and fire on this one. Let's go ahead and move to the left here. Now the infiltrator is in melee, but they shouldn't be able to hit him due to the fact that he is untargetable currently. So let's move and let's see what kind of damage we can actually do to these guys. So that's cool. That was like a, like a group hit there. All right, now we've got this guy. Um, let's see. Okay, all those guys have already moved. So let's go ahead and do like an arc attack on them. And let's go ahead and start loading up some of these guys. Um, I'm gonna move. Okay, we are, we're, we're safe at the moment. I'm gonna move towards the cognition. And uh, let's go ahead and grab this cognition point as well. <laughs> yeah, they get stuck around each other all the time. But you can see that they're all heading that way now because they want to go after this guy, which is um, actually really, really useful. Uh, let's see, can I hit both of these guys? Okay, yes, I can. Okay, one guy down, which is really good. We do need to take these guys out eventually. <laughs> All right, two down. Let's move you forward a little bit. And we can grab the cognition. That actually works great. But we also want to take out the corpses. Make sure you take out the corpses. And let's keep moving this direction. Don't think everybody will be able to hit him or get to him yet. Okay, new round, more played ones. Now they're all targeting... Um, this guy right now. So that should mean that all the ones on this side are gonna try and come back around. And should ignore. Oh, no, they won't ignore. Okay, I guess they'll hit whoever's closest, but usually they'll run past him. Should be really useful. Yeah, like that guy just ran past. He was just like, nah. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop and like deal with you. Okay, let's see here. What I wanna do is actually allow these guys to go take out those, um, which is what I was trying to do. Uh, let's focus on this guy first. Okay, and then can we just, can we just go? He doesn't look like he's doing too well. Good. that. Uh, let's see. Actually, can I maybe... I actually don't think I can use that, can I? They're not close enough. Um, let's see. They could fire on this guy. Let's go ahead and have them do that. It's a free shot. And we got the cognition for that. Beautiful. Yeah, it can be really useful uh, doing that and actually having them, if you can afford to <laughs> afford that. Let's go ahead and gain cognition points. Always need more cognition points. Never go anywhere without them. Okay, um, let's go ahead and delay his turn due to actually your turn as well. Um, what I actually want to do then... Can I maybe take this guy out? 
would be really useful right now. Okay, good. That clears out um, that problem. Let's go ahead and fire on this guy here. That'll take out this corpse as well. And get rid of that. Also got a crit on that guy, so that was well worth it. Um, actually, this guy can heal, so let's go ahead and repair. Yeah, repairing from a distance is useful. Alright. I think we're good there, and everybody's gonna move after him, because of course they are. Not quite reaching me yet, good. All right, this guy is next. Let me move here. Wasn't going for the cognition point. Just wanted to take him out so he didn't come back and ruin my day. What I wanted to do, if I can move here. Oh, I can actually maybe hit both of those. Useful. Uh, I actually think this would probably be even more useful. Yes. All right. Um, best just to take this one out first. So it actually looks like we won't get to because we do have those uh, panels. So that's actually really good. I wonder, um, it'd be really surprising if we could actually take all four of them out, especially since we only have two rounds here. Um, but let's make, let's see what we can do. Uh, let me move forward. Did we hit those guys? We have not. Okay. I'm really hoping we take this guy out. That would be really good. No, of course not. Why would we do that? Um, can't quite. Okay, actually we might be okay. Now for you, I actually kind of want to take that guy out. Perfect. Um, okay, we're going to be able to pull more flayed ones. Why are there always more flayed ones? Well, let's go ahead and start by getting rid of this guy. Really didn't get rid of him. Kind of disappointed in you, to be completely honest. Okay, gone now. Let's keep moving forward a little bit here. Just trying to put some space in between me and um, literally everything else. Ooh, it has four hit points left. Beautiful. All right. Let's see. I'm not going to be able to make it up there to take anything out, but I might be able to take this guy out. Haha. -ha. Perfect. And actually, can you... Oh, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? I need you to take that guy out, stat. Perfect! I like their little machine gun thing. I don't, actually don't know what that is. A flashé blaster? Hmm, interesting. All right. I think I can actually move up here and maybe take this one out. I'm just curious at this point. Like, yeah, we could definitely target the flayed ones or whatever, but, um, ooh, let's target those guys. Yeah, we got rid of that, which takes our awakening all the way back down, and we hurt those two guys. <laughs> That's great. That's great news. Um, can't quite heal anybody at a distance. Actually, I think we're all doing it. Okay. Now, they're trying to go after him. It doesn't look like they're quite going to get there, though. Okay, let's move forward a little bit. I can get that cognition. All right, we got, um, this is gonna take out both of those. <laughs> Cause I got the machine spirit. Boom, all right. And that takes our awakening almost all the way back down to 
zero. Uh, worth it in this battle. Now we could have scanned them, but as you can kind of tell, I'm already running out of rounds and um, I was not prepared for handling these guys. Let's take out one of those played ones. <laughs> Eight damage, nice. So that he pulls um, everybody. Now there's the reanimation protocol, whatever. We don't care. This is far enough away and we're we're fine. And we won because we survived the rounds. That's all we needed to do here. This is one of the few times where we did not need to go the extra mile. The last of the flayed ones is cut down by the cohort's weapons. This pack will no more torment the Skatari troops by clothing themselves in the skins of the dead unit. The flayed ones remains teleport away and the cohort incinerate the skins they leave behind, removing this moral threat for good. The deceased Xenos have been dispatched by and our Skatari put to rest. I must approve the zeal with what, which you pursue the destruction of the Necrons, Majos. Gathalamorian 6041, he who prosecutes or, yeah, prosecutes the alien with zeal is the ally of all mankind. I have no love for the alien, Videx. The cult mechanicus makes it very clear that the stars belong to humankind. Relentlessly pursuing the destruction of the Necrons may not be the correct strategy, however. We do not know what we are dealing with on Silva Tenebris. We should not enter into a battle we cannot win. There may be a way to make this a battle we cannot lose. Care to elaborate, Lector Dig uh, Dogmatis? In time, Majos. In time. Can you not be, like, super suspicious for, like, two seconds? Alright, we did lose a little bit of... And we lost one guy, so we did lose a little bit of, um... Blackstone there. That sucks, but... Okay, we got a, quite a bit of money from that. And we did earn a little bit of Blackstone from all of that as well. And we got the um, new uh, mechadendrites and whatnot, so that's actually really good. Now, we didn't make quite as much money. Like, if we'd been able to scan some of that stuff, it would have been really nice. But I'm not gonna, like, be on fire about it. So, um, don't really worry about it. Okay, I'm gonna head in here. Let's see, the engine's here. We've got everything that we need, but I do want to go ahead and upgrade and grab those pants. <laughs> the pants, the legs. Because um, that will be allow us to unlock the benediction which is what i want it costs one uh cognition points and you choose between either restore all hp on all tech priests or on all troops um to the max yeah this one is a game changer for us and is going to be like the like the best thing we just the best thing we have it's so amazing and i love it I just let it go let me replace it Okay, so um, with the engine seer being now maxed out, I'm gonna replace its uh, curatio mechadendrite so that it can now heal four rather than two. Yeah, that's gonna be a nice boost. It doesn't cost anything to use either of them. So uh, well worth it as far as I'm concerned. Uh, additionally, let's see, is there, what do I wanna replace? I have one more augment uh, slot open and I'm thinking for right now, we don't have too much. Actually, that's really useful. We got the Cog Occulturus here, which at the start of the battle, the unit appears untargetable until he performs an attack and then he gains plus 25%. I think that's a then he gains, or maybe it's just separate than that. I'm actually not sure. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Let's try that out. And that will make him essentially untargetable at the start of the battle, which would be kind of nice. And we only gained one of the awakening there, which I, I, we actually didn't gain any awakening there, which was really nice. Usually I have a hard time getting to the back, um, of that area in order to take out those, uh, panel things. Also, we've unlocked a new boss in doing that. Um, let's see. We have three bosses. We've got the uh, Lord Astronomer, which is from the first area. That's this guy. Uh, we also have the Void Admiral. Wait, no, the Void Admiral's from the first sector. The Lord Astronomer's from the second sector. And the 
third one is from the Ubja. Am I right with that? That That is right. Okay. And each of these is like really useful. So you can kind of see we unlock a lot. But uh, these are all hard. And you do actually have to fight the like the person. So I have these scheduled last in the... Um, the let's play like these are all going to be the very last thing i do before we beat the crap out of well probably the last thing we do before we beat the crap out of the main boss um there's two things to note about these ones in particular just in case one they're set up that you will take at least five awakening for each of them like there's no way around it and two they all have like some sort of um gimmick and that makes them either hilariously easy or just annoying. Uh, additionally, if you don't defeat these before you go after the final boss, you will be fighting these guys at the same time as the final boss. So it is imperative that you fight these first. If you're not as prepared as me, we're gonna be going into the final boss battle and regardless of whether or not you've fought and fought the, the bosses, fought and, the, but regardless of not you've fought the boss, is from all the sectors we will be so overpowered that it won't matter so anyway next time we're going to be going and getting ourselves a new tech priest so i will see you guys then